afternoon, everybody. This is Denise, the queen of junk here with Sparks Junk Removal and Hauling, talking to you all the way from Alton, Illinois. Today's topic that I want to discuss, actually, it's just something that I saw on one of the junk removal Facebook groups. If you have an estate sale company call you and ask you if you're interested in purchasing their leftover, that's the key word, leftover items, or would you offer them a discount, or would you pick it up for free? Well, in 27 years of doing this, I've been contacted left and right by estate sale companies. And actually, a local company just called me the other day and wanted me, I think expected me, to pick up all their leftover stuff for zero. Now, my question to them was, do you pick up all of their stuff and lay all of their stuff out for an estate sale for zero dollars? Do you work for free? Absolutely not. Those items are left over for a reason. One, they're too darn old and nobody in today's world has any interest for them. Two, they're too high priced so nobody wants to pay for it. Or three, there's just no interest in it at all. So, you know, they're like, well, don't you pick up garage sale items that are left over? And I said, for a fee. Why do people think that junk removal companies are in business to work for free? I'm always scratching my head on that one. We have fuel, we have insurance, we have employees, we have wages to pay, we have taxes, we have vehicle expense. So anyway, my answer to that on estate sale items to pick up for free. No, even if you offer them a you know a small percent to purchase them. I've been doing this so so long. I don't know what your area is like, but for me, you're not going to even be able to take it to an auction house and sell it. Most of the items that they have left are the little knickknacks and the hand tools. I have a five car garage right now full of hand tools and power tools from the 1970s and 80s that nobody wants. So there you go. The other thing also, I don't know if any of you junkers work with local auction companies. I do. I've had a very good rapport with a local auction house. If I walk in to give a bid and I'm talking to that customer and I can tell that their funds are limited and they need to make money for the clean out and they also need to make a profit on if the whole house has wonderful furniture and I mean it has to be nice. I call up my local buddy that owns the auction house and I say, hey, Mrs. Jones here has a beautiful home. They're trying to recoup some money to be able to pay for the clean out. Could you set up a time with Mrs. Jones to come out and take a look at what she has for auction? Now, Nine times out of ten, yes, my buddy's going to come out. It's a family-owned business. They're very reputable. It's like, you scratch my back, I'm going to scratch yours. 
because they also do clean outs as well. So he'll come out, take the items, Mrs. Jones will get a percentage back, and I also get the clean out. So it's a win-win for both the auction house and for myself. Now, if I go to Mr. Smith's house and there's no discussion about funds, there's no discussion about items trying to, you know, they're trying to recoup their money, then that's a whole different scenario. Then I will bid that entire job for myself and take care of those items that can be donated or repurposed back into the community myself. So, on the topic today of estate sale companies, be careful because you're not usually going to make that much money back. On auction houses, if you don't have a you know a good report go and introduce yourself talk to the the owner of the company if you can leave some information because it's worked well for for myself now those of you that can and we talked about this before on one of my other YouTube videos. Those of you that can um, resell items, use your platform. Use Facebook. Use Etsy. Use, um, oh, what are those other two? My mind just went blank. Let it go. Use eBay. If you have somebody in your office, you know, your wife, or you've got a kid at home that's homeschooling, that's old enough, that, that's, you know, a guru on the internet, let them start listing this stuff for you, taking pictures and pricing it, because you're going to make your money back. So not only are you going to get the sell of the clean out, you possibly have the opportunity to take things to an auction house and to sell on social media. So once again, please value your business. Do not pick up things for free unless it's for a good cause, like a charitable contribution, donation. You're doing it for a charity. You're doing it for someone that's down on their luck. Or I mean, you all know how to judge that. But I just, I just want to say, don't let some of these other businesses take advantage of you whatsoever. Like I always say, don't take my kindness for weakness. Because I'm the queen of junk, 27 years, and I am here to mentor and educate and help all you other junkies out there in YouTube land, Facebook land, whatever. Give me a call, 618-781-1407. Hit me up at sparksjunkremoval.net. I'd love to talk to you. Everybody, be kind and have a great day. Go grind and be profitable.